Is it a firefly? Is it a lightning bug? It's both, and it's neither. Hi, this is Tweek. Today we're going to bring some attention to another of the endangered species. It happens to be a beetle called the lightning bug. Join us. Supplies you need for this project are, you will need cardboard. Now I'm using a cardboard that has white on one side, very helpful. You will need scissors, pencils, some paint. You'll need a little bit of lace to augment the lightning bug's wings. You will need hot glue gun, a pair of black eyeballs, and some ribbon that lights up. So let's get started. I don't know which came first. I read an article about lightning bugs, fireflies. Depending on where you live, depends on what you call them. But they are endangered. 170 species live in the United States and Canada. 18 of those are endangered. So I thought, let's bring a little bit of awareness to them in a fun way by creating a lightning bug. So here we go. I drew out a pattern and I cut it out, traced it out onto cardboard. Now this cardboard was great because it's white on one side, so I didn't have to paint it. But if you have cardboard that isn't, you will have to get some white paint and paint that out. So I cut that out and I cut out another piece of foam. Now this was just packing foam that came in through the mail and I made use of that. So I'm going to layer those two pieces together and I'm going to very gently, because sometimes the foam melts, I'm going to start sticking these two together. I'm just going to run a little bead of glue, just a little bit. And a little at a time, I'm gonna go around the base. And the reason why I'm adding the foam is because once I add the light up ribbon, that gives it a little place to bounce a little bit, just to keep it, give it a little more depth. So this part of the bug is called the lantern. This is where the bug makes its light. Why we are so fascinated by them. So I've got a body with just a little bit of foam. And what I'm going to do next is add the ribbon to it because from that point I build on to the insect. And I found this really neat stuff online. We'll leave the link below. But it's a Christmas ribbon. It has LED lights in it and it has remote where I can control the pattern. And I found setting number four on here is called slow glow and it makes a pattern like a firefly does. When you see it outside, each species has a different flash point, how they flash their light. So I'm gonna use this in the end to decide what looks best with our firefly. But I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna to attach this piece, the mode, towards the end, up where the head is. So I'm gonna leave a little bit, this seems like an awful lot, but I'm really, um, going to use every bit of this ribbon. Here's the end of the ribbon. You can see this is where the connector, this is where they stop. So I'm just going to take a little bit of tape because that will help with some glue to attach the ribbon. And now, very carefully, I'm going to start wrapping this ribbon around this base. I'm going to overlap a little bit. I'm going kind of loose. And I'm going to use the lines in the ribbon. It's got some wire in it, so it's quite amiable to me squishing it a little bit, and that doesn't hurt the LED lighting. See, I'm just winding up, and so I'll just be a little more mindful as I go to keep it flat. It's starting to look a little bit like a bug abdomen, isn't it? A beetle abdomen. You see why I'm not gluing it just yet? Because I want to make sure it's spaced properly and there's no gaps. And another reason for me to put that foam down is you can see the difference in the reflectivity of just the plain cardboard. It doesn't give you the same look as does the front. See how that shines better? So now I'm going to, it's okay it doesn't come up to the top because that's gonna get covered. But I'm gonna make sure that these guys all line up with each other. And then I'm going to go along the edge and just very lightly tack it down. So that is how we get the lantern part of our beetle. 
So let me flip you over and start tacking it down. I don't really want to get the glue onto the working, so I'm going to stick with the edges. I'm taking my glue gun and I'm going to come along and I'm just going to tack. I'm just going to be careful because there's not much here to protect your hands. Your fingers from being burned from the glue. It's staying in place. That's good. I want to avoid the wires if I can. I think they'd be okay, but I, I don't want to damage them. If you want to, you can come back and add more. Right now, I'm very confident with what's what's there. Good. So I'm still going to let this sit for a minute because I might want to pull it up a little more, and I can do that. But let me show you what we got here so far. Okay. I've got the thorax, and I'm going to just press along the edge to make the wire crinkle just a little bit. Give it more of a round shape than square. It's staying in place, I like that. If the lights were low, I could show you how he glows. He's not that came up. I'm gonna go ahead and attach that down to insurance. Yes, you're gonna be tacked down to there and there, okay. What I liked about this ribbon is it comes with a remote, so I can go ahead and tack down this piece so that I can get in and out for batteries when I need it, and then just use the remote to turn it on and off, which is pretty cool. Okay, stayed away from all the wires. Let's see if it still works. It does, excellent. So next we are going to work on the head. Definitely speaks of Firefly to me. <laughs> Okay, for the head, I cut out another pattern. This is the size head I wanted on this beetle. And there's gonna be a thorax here to cover up. Most of the light on the, the beetle actually comes down further, so I didn't mind coming up a little bit. But I cut out two of these. I haven't painted this one yet because I do want to paint some of this. But I wanted a place to put his eyes, and the eyes are up towards the top of his head. So I got these. These are actually eyeballs that you'd use for like making a stuffed toy. And I'm going to punch them into the cardboard to make them stay so that his eyes will be up towards the top of his head where I wanted them to be. So I needed to cut out two pieces of his head, and I needed to leave a spot for his eyeball. So let's just cut this out. Pretty easy. Right now I'm just going to go straight around and I'll use a better scissors to come in for those ticklish spots between. So those two will get glued onto this. And I'm going to put in the eyes. There's enough space there for the eye to poke comfortably through the piece, hang onto the slid, and you'll get, I'll get the dimensions I wanted. So right now I'm going to paint I think I want this bottom part black and this part up here, I want it to look more like a lightning bug head, which would mean like a bright orange. They've got, you know, different species with different colors. But let's put down a little bit of paper towel for insurance. And I'll quickly paint this bug. So I'm just going to put a little bit of black paint right, right on the top of this cardboard. Just a couple of dots. That's enough. I get my brush. So I don't want you to see the white, I want you to see the dark of the bug, not the white. And all this rest of this is going to be underneath the other piece. But where his eyeballs are, I want that to be dark. Okay, let you sit. Where's a good place to sit? Sit right there. And we're going to do this one in orange. The color here is mostly an orange head. I, I like that. So I've got this cadmium red. It, to me, it looks orange. Look at that. I, I don't think maybe I, my eyeballs are off, but this seemed perfect red-orange color I was looking for, so I'm going to go with it. Okay, we'll let that 
let's sit aside and dry. And then it's time to do the wings. I drew a wing pattern that I liked and cut out two pieces of it. Now I'm using the cardboard again with the white, so I flipped over the pattern to get the other side. So here's the one side, flipped the pattern to trace over to get the other side. And then I took that wing and I just painted it brown and added an outline to it with some just some copper color. And then I wanted a little more fancy. Actually, this is how it goes because there's a little bit of light fan inside their wings. It's, it's really pretty and I thought of lace. So what I did was I took my wing and I took a couple pieces of lace that I had. It really could be any kind that you like. And I just attached it to the back. See that? Really, really simple. I just wanted a little more fancy in these beautiful, beautiful bugs. Now let me make sure I'm doing this on the right side. They have a curvy side. So it's on the inside of this wing that I'm gonna attach. I wanna make sure this here, that's gotta be facing out. So when you look at the wing, see how the lace has, this lace has a double side to it, or, you know, two layers to it. So let's leave that there and just Give me a little more space and start by, looks like I pulled it in just a little bit at the top to round it off. And then I just followed all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so let's do that. Here we go. Yeah, it's up here where I started and then traveled all the way down. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I'm just gonna bring it around the corner just a little bit. And now you wanna be careful because the lace is really thin and this glue is really hot. And then I'm gonna use that seam on the lace to help protect my fingers as I go around and down the wing. And just let that seam sit along the edge of the wing. So now that cools off just a ditch, I can touch it. Okay, flip it over. And we've got our other wing. Now, I've got to curl this off just a little bit at the top there, like I did on that side. Just a, just a little bit. Doesn't really matter. You could leave it, but I'm going to try to mimic the wing a little more. Now these are going to go like this. See, so you're going to get just a little hint of the wing inside. But before I can attach those guys, I'm going to bring it up a little more. I'm going to put on the thorax. That comes next. This was a piece that is more just decorative. And I just cut it out of a piece of cardboard I had at home here. And I'm just going to use it to lay over the firefly. Just like that. So you're going to see some of the light come through the thorax, most of the lanterns down here, and then you're going to see the wings come in and hide that part of it, and then the head will come in here. So this needs to be black though, so I'm going to quick give it a paint. I need something to paint on. And here we go. And you know what? That's brown. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. I'm going to mix them. this dry and then I think we're ready for some construction. I'm going to start first by I had another extra piece set here to give a little more um, security to the things that are coming next. So I'm going to give this one a nice good solid glue. This is the same shape as the head just to give the wings and the thorax a place to sit along with the head and press. Now all this will be covered up and now comes that's what I call it anyway. I wanted this piece just for decorative. I wanted the light to shine through. And I'm not going to tack down a lot of it, just a little bit. Very 
good. Gosh, it looks like a big pupa, doesn't it? <laughs> so that part's set now. Let's set up these two pieces that I had in this one. Didn't matter if it was all painted because it's not going to show. You know where his eyeballs are going to go. And then the headpiece comes here. Ooh, he's getting a 3D look at it. I like this. Okay. I'm thinking, yeah, I've got to put this on first, then punch his eyes in, then add his wings. Okay, more glue. Gotta hurry before it dries. I like that there's a little bit of the brown and the black showing. That's kind of cool. Reminds me of the actual beetle. Okay, that's done. Now, I think I want to add the eyeballs in right now. Well, look at those. Aren't those cool? I'm going to add the antennas first. Now, the antennas are shorter which I thought, well, a regular old pipe cleaner. I'm just gonna make a V. I'm gonna stick it right there so the eyeballs hide it a little bit. Antennas in place. Starting to look more like a beetle. In, we're in. Now, these, all I did was poke them right through. Wish me luck, folks, here we go. I'm going to use my meat thermometer to help me out here. Okay, there we go. In you go, eyeball. In. Now, I have a backing I could put on there, but I don't think I need it. So let me see the... I love these eyeballs. <laughs> They're really cool. Make a hole and dent. Not skewer myself. What do you think so? <laughs> this is turning out pretty cool. All right, now we need the wings. And I've got to hook this guy up in the back and put a chain on him so we can hang him. Here come the wings. The wings went like this. They're mostly going to be hooked just at the top. And I'm going to give it a lot of glue. stay? Yes, you are. Now, I'm going to flip you over. What do you think so far? <laughs> Is this a crazy thing or what? Okay. Hanger. Simple, simple, simple chain. I'm going to poke through here. Let the chain ride through. Good. One side. together and the chain is ready. Okay, we got his chain. Oh yeah, I like that. Now, when I hang him up, I think I'm going to attach right here with just a little bit of glue to hold him in place. Done. Turned on the flashers. He's all put together. Let's dim the lights and see how he's going to look. Ready? And our firefly is fireflying. There you are. Our lightning bug is doing his thing. <laughs> so if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. And until then, look at, let's bring some awareness to all creatures, great and small, those that need our help, those that are flashing in order to get our attention. See you again.